Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. And today I have great news for you, or rather exciting ones. So I'm going to present you a dozen locations to farm two and three star legendaries in the mire and cranberry bog locations. Stay tuned. <laughs> So as promised, I have done a pool recently and the winner option was more legendary boss locations and I am delivering. So I have explored the Mar and the Cranberry Bog locations and I have found so many legendary locations, but some of them are not too reliable and others are quite low level. So I try to stick to the best ones and I provided options for every level. Of course, I have only included like two or three for low levels and everything else is for higher or end game um, players. So let's check out the locations. The first I selected is the Mire Horde. It's an event and it can happen all over the Mire region. So here is an example of the event. And you will usually find a two to three stars boss in this event. Now, keep in mind that is usually a very low level event. As you can see, the enemies are level 24. And the drops are not that amazing. As obvious, but if you are low level right now, then this is worth your time because it's easy to do. The experience and rewards are decent, and you will always get a legendary item, which can also be three stars. Let's check the next location, shall we? My second pick is at the Thunder Mountain Station, and you will often find a three star boss here, which is a nut. Now, this is not the best location ever, but it's quite reliable. So I found it three times yesterday and I checked around a dozen of times. If you are low level, then you might have some issues with the dead claw. But other than that, you can just kill the ant, loot the item and get the hell out of there. Curious point, the Dead Claw used to be legendary quite often before, but after patch 5, I haven't found him legendary a single time, so I don't think the Dead Claw can be legendary anymore, sadly. Anyhow, um, the Ant can actually drop some nice weapons, such as this one. It's low level, yes, but look, it's a 3 star weapon, it has uh, decent stats. So you never know what you can find. Now let's start with the high level stuff. At the general stick house, you will often find one or two legendary bosses. They are not too uh, high in stars. So I usually found them with one star or no star at all. But I think it's still a decent place to visit because there are tons of mutants and they drop caps and it's a great way to level up as well and then you have a chance to find one or two bosses as well so i think this is a very decent location to come by and farm the next location is very close to the steakhouse it's at the robco research center and you will often find a legendary boss there that is normally a one star but he can also be two stars sadly i haven't been able to find him as two stars in the past few days but this is also a reliable place to find a legendary uh, boss with a lot of mutants to farm caps gear um, ammo and experience of course now keep in mind that this place is plagued with mutants there are several levels as well and tons of rooms to explore if you like that kind of thing as well. But yes, don't forget it's inside, not outside. And there you go. Hmm, that fire axe is actually decent by the way. At the abandoned waste dump you can find 
uh, to that close in sight and often you will find one of them being a three star legendary boss. Now, it doesn't always happen, but it's quite often. So if you do a few server jumps, you will surely find one of them as a three star. And they are normally a decent uh, level. This one was just a 41, but I've seen a much higher in here. Just be careful because they hit quite hard if you let them hit you. But other than that, they should be down quite easily. And he dropped a, a 43 weapon, two stars, not bad. But let's check the next location. A bit more to the north at the Gulper Lagoon, you will often find a level or three star boss as well. So there are three, four culprits in the area. And one of them is either a boss or a legendary boss. And when he's a boss, normally he has a three star. And this is one of my favorite spots because he can drop weapons, armor, basically anything. And they're not even that bad. Especially because the culprits are around level 50, as you can see. And the gear it drops, it's either level 45 or level 50, which is quite handy in my opinion. And as you can see, it dropped a level 50 gauntlet with two stars. That's pretty decent. Moving on, this point is at the Watauga Emergency Services, and this is also one of my favorite farming spots because there's usually a boss here. It can be a one star, a two star, three star, no star at all. So it's very random what it spawns here, but there's always a boss. Of course, sometimes it's not a legendary as in every other spot, but there are big chances for you to find a three star in this location. It usually spawns here, near this fridge, but sometimes it can be in the room behind the one I just came from and didn't check. So yeah, he chased me all the way here. Sadly for me, he didn't drop anything special, just a mediocre blade, but they can drop decent stuff. Now let's travel into the swamp to do the event Heart of the Swamp. It's right here when it's active and you have to do a few things in this event. So first of all, you need to kill this plant, but only when it is open the petals. And you also need to kill the waves of um, enemies that come at you. And at the end of the event when you were about to kill the the heart that it's called this plant it's a very weird thing by the way um a legendary three star merlequin will spawn when you're about to finish there she is she is very strong she has tons and tons of hp and she also hits uh, quite a lot so be careful finding this, we were two here and we took a while to kill her. Don't forget that as every other legendary boss, she will um, get her HP back to full once she reaches all HP. As for the drops, she can drop from weapons to armor pieces. This time I got a two star armor, uh, nothing special in my opinion. But you can get other things, such as normal weapons, ammo, and a lot of valuable things to sell. Plus, you get event rewards. So this is a very, very nice event to do, if you ever see it. It's not that common to find it, though. And we are at the top two. So the second one, I think, is the best to farm legendaries, is at the Monster March event at the Watauga High School and 
This event has three phases where you get rewards for each single phase and you normally find two to three legendary bosses. In this run I found a three star legendary first and then a two star legendary. But it's quite random as well. There is no precise rule for how many or what kind of legendaries you will get in here but you will surely find them so make sure to come by and get your loot so if you have a bit of time to spare just come here and farm because this event is often up so you will probably um, see it often in your map or if you come to the Watauga High School you will trigger it sometimes and it's a really great location to farm from plastic uh, on the tables and floors to caps as you can probably see the ghouls drop a lot of caps and all sorts of medicine as well and of course legendary items so make sure to come here if you see this event but make sure to grab the mask and collect as many candies as you can otherwise I'm not sure if the ghouls will keep spawning I don't think they will so you need to keep doing the event for them to keep coming that's the way to do this but let's jump to the first location my first pick is the event Awal Armaments because it's very easy to do, it's quite quick too and you usually get 2 to 3 legendaries that are 3 stars and 2 stars so if you see this don't think twice just come by and you also will find a legendary among these feral ghouls when you teleport here there's usually a wave of them and usually one of them is a legendary it's nothing special but it's an extra just like at the last event um, they are quite high level so their drops will also be high level end game gear and unlike monster mash this is much quicker to do there are also waves but they are you know, you take a minute to kill them, basically. The legendary bosses normally come with each wave. But my first wave didn't deliver anything. So this was the second wave. I got the two stars. And he also dropped a two star item. Nothing special, unfortunately, but that's how it is. And then after killing the third wave, I found this three star boss here alone. He was so alone. Don't forget that they explode once you kill them and it does quite some damage. And there you go, a three star axe. So they drop really nice gear and it's a very worthwhile event to do. And that's my top 10 locations for farming legendary items in the mire and cranberry bog areas. So I know there are other locations that you can go, but in my opinion, these are the best, the very best, at least to find two and three star legendary bosses. And that's going to be it for me. I am Marta Branco. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.